Good morning. Welcome to Nifty Prediction. My name is Narendra. To join my WhatsApp group, I'm charging 1000 rupees per month. You will get advanced prediction details as well as calls in the group. This video is only for educational learning purpose. If you want to buy anything, please consult with your financial planners before buying. Let's go to the prediction for Monday. Uh, the data is very much showing bearish volatile. Uh, from this data, I, I specifically mentioned this so that you can e easily understand uh, how the market is uh, behaving as per our prediction formula. So, absolute frequency is the abbreviation for AF uh, and uh, the ratio indicating volatile because whenever we get a difference of one point, it is indicating volatile and weightage indicating bearish and average indicating bearish and absolute frequency indicating bearish. So, uh, in the four parameters, we clearly get the bearish is uh, taking control with the volatile. So you must have to play cautiously because whenever we get volatile, still it has potential uh, to go bullish. But still, um, the data is very much showing the bearish domination will be there. At the same time, the pending target, we don't have positive side pending target for the weekly, but we have negative side pending target for the weekly. 17,437 and 17,299. So, anyone going for a, a bearish target, these two they can go 00 in the put option, even somewhere if you want to take risk 18,000 like that. Why? Because if if the Nifty is strongly going towards to this level, this 18,000 sorry, sorry 17,800 level or 17,850 level, it will give you a good profit of 500 points if it is reaching 17,299. So, but still you need to take it as a hero zero because for a one week tenure uh, if it is not breaking 17,400 key level then nifty is still having strong support level to recover so uh, this key level we need to watch out closely and one more important point i would like to update later uh, while in the support and resistance level uh, as per the volatile one and volatile two uh, these two levels are wide range we are having on Monday, which is 30 points positive side, negative negative side 173 points, which is more than 200 points uh, uh, on the range, volatile range, which is huge. So uh, you must have to play very cautiously, but buying on dip is advisable if anyone going for a bullish buy because the first 130, one or 30 minutes, which is the crucial opening from monday one hour 30 minutes is very crucial due to if it is falling heavily and breaking the volatile to um around uh, uh, 17680 level within uh, 130 minutes then it has potential to fall down heavily but if it is sustaining this for first one hour 30 minutes then nifty is having high chances to recover it might be a fake recovery but still potential to recover towards to flat positive or even towards some days and number 100 or even positive average so the first one and a half hours we need to watch out closely positive average we are having around 180 points around 18,034 range so that is the reason we are still asking uh, for a hedging method but uh, yeah, like uh, you must have to take uh, put option a little higher than the call option for example if you trade 100 points on the put option like hero zero you need to keep 10 to 20 points at least minimum level uh, needs to be 10 to 20 points you need to take it as a insurance why because if nifty is not falling and requires fakely because it still has potential to go uh, 180 points the positive average then you will have the survival uh, if things are not happening as per your plan so you need to keep insurance as well but uh, the potential downside is very huge so it still has potential to go thousand to thousand six hundred range because of the average is there because we have saw so many times whenever these kind of days are happening we, there is no certain to happen but it has potential to happen like that so which means whenever it shows there is a deep down to go you need to play much more cautiously you need not to play uh, just like that because if it is goes down like that means you will get panic and lose money so that is the reason we are asking 
that nifty is having potential to fall down 16200 as well it might freeze 1000 points if it is in the range of certain time limit but still it has potential to go bizarre like anything so play safe must keep at least five points put option in hand even if it is goes to zero that is fine because 250 rupees if you are taking risk uh, and losing is nothing in the market in this kind of days so 250 rupees five points put option must keep in hand if it is goes wrong that is fine but if it is goes heavily on that particular day this will give you handy result because we have saw we have booked profit five from five to four fifty points as well so many times whenever this kind of days and it has been the 800 900 points and five points put option uh, it has given us around 450 points so note down this zero zero must have to keep in hand whether it is going to be success or fail failure immaterial but you need to keep put option in hand like that on the other hand uh, the basic rule anything not breaking this particular plus 10 points the volatile stop loss range for the bearish nifty has potential to fall down heavily and the volatile stop loss for the bullish this particular level minus 10 points minus 10 point if it is not breaking then nifty has potential to recover as well these are all the basic rule but anything below the pivot level nifty will always try to go down anything above the pivot level nifty will always try to go up and these are all the basic rules any given day the basic rule will not get changed and uh, as per par value which is 17,516 anything above the par value pre-opening is nifty will try to go up towards 18,222 that is the one of the reason we are asking to keep um, uh, one call option as an insurance why because you are going for a bearish because we are having two targets uh, bearish which is uh, in the range of 17,300 range uh, so we are planning for the bearish and we bought it put option around 100 points uh, any strike price, uh, strike price 100 points put option for example i'm saying if you if we take and we are expecting to the market to reach 17,300 but it is not happening but uh, the market has recovering and start to go towards 18,200 means we will uh, get panic and this entire 100 points will go to zero in the panic but if you have 10 points 20 points put option uh, sorry call option as an insurance so uh, see if we had uh, the if we have the, this particular uh, call option as an insurance what happens is if the market is goes bizarre bullish unexpectedly uh, in the range if it is getting support and go towards 360 like that means it will compensate your loss from the put option but as per if it is goes not going bullish but if it is started to fall down towards to 17300 means this investment of 20 points will get recorded in this put option side uh, because if it is goes heavily this 100 will go to 100 300 something like that so this kind of a method will give you a comfortable to trade on monday as well and whenever we get volatile range we we knew the basic formula which is we used to trade positive target 2 to negative target 2 that is the basic which means 69 points positive still nifty has potential to go but see the negative 600 points which means 17,924 positive side maximum is potential to reach as per the volatile data but the negative side which is huge 17,252 which shows that it has potential to close our negative side target of 17,299 range so uh, that is the one of the reason we are asking to keep at least minimum five points put option is handy to you if it is breaks and bizarre like bearish it has gives you a ample amount of profit losing that five points is nothing uh, you can easily recover in in the same day as well and other data which shows anything above 17682 nifty still has potential to recover and go towards the positive side but anything below 17511 then only bearish will take strong control so watch out these levels don't uh, keep the put option uh, if you if it stays there some time then 
intraday traders is advisable to book profits on this uh, inside these ranges anyone going for a hero zero they can keep uh, till a fundo closing uh, for example i would like to give you some uh, idea or uh, two lots if you are buying some 30 points for example i'm saying so one lot you can exit in in between these ranges and remaining one lot keep it is keep it till f and closing so uh, why because uh, f and closing if you keep one lot if it is goes bizarre like on the next two uh, two to three days then you will end up this 30 become 300 so that is the chances we are still having but uh, we may not know how far it will go but uh, if you buy two lots at 30 and one exit somewhere around 50 to 60 then your cost price will be recovered on the same day so the remaining one lot is like an hero zero you need not to worry even if it goes to zero so this kind of method is also advisable to trade but play safe once you reach your target uh, keep it hero zero is completely fine even single lot uh, on this particular day it is showing it has potential but still these are all the key levels if it is not breaking then uh, nifty is having potential recovery but one key point which i uh, if, uh, i would like to point it out earlier in the uh, trading uh, if any any um time this particular key level 17400 level we need to closely monitor 17402.34 this level minus 10 points very handy because uh, 17392 if it is breaking this particular key level then nifty will fall down like anything it will go from there to 17107 so watch out this key level because the stop loss uh, minus 10 points is very much handy if it is not breaking that stop loss level in between if the market is keeping low in between these two levels if it is matching with nifty might have the chances to recover very strongly but if it is breaking even one point even point five this particular level let's say the round of uh three five so if it is breaking 17392.30 which means this target is automatically open for the downside so it might go straight away on the same day towards to 17,107 or the next day so or in in a week time so watch out this key level 17,392.3534 because round of 34 we don't have in the market but 35330 these levels are very much handy whether it is breaking or not if it is breaking uh, 17107.75 downside targets is getting open so watch out this key level if it is not breaking nifty has potential to strong recover and it might go towards to the pending target of the positive side so that downside key level 17400 range very much handy because this this particular target might get close but uh, um, we will think that this target will get close on that particular level but it will not happen that key level 400 range if it is keeping low and recovering means nifty has potential to go towards to 18325 to 18702 so watch out that key level um, uh, very much important key level on this particular 17,402 minus 10 points from that level. Let's see how the market is going to give us on Monday. Keep put option, one put option must, it, if it is on the higher side, 100, uh, 150, 120, 200, whatever the price, uh, keep one small insurance in the call option side, uh, irrespective of the buying price. If you buying 200 points your insurance need to be little higher like 40 um, and if you are buying 100 100 points in the put option side you need to buy like 20 so like that you need to keep some insurance on the uh, call option and put option so call option needs needs to be uh, must have to be in the insurance side if you 
don't have any insurance on the call option side then your PE you need to keep it as hero zero let's see how the market is going to give us on Monday thank you and summary I will let you show the summary <coughs> these are all the summary and the positive to negative average which total together uh, we are having positive side 180 points negative side close to 400 which means 580 points is there uh, from the positive to negative side which is very big <coughs> so no doubt how to trade on this particular day it is not going to be easy as per cpr it is kind of a bullish so that is also one of the reason because cpr traders are uh, big in numbers so they might change the market from the bearish towards to bullish if they are still paying for the bullish and the numbers are very high then as we said uh, around 17 sorry 120 sorry 170 range uh, on the lower side if it is matching then it might require as well um, uh, in the volatile to on this particular level i'm talking about this particular level if it is getting match and if it is sustaining on the lower side then nifty has uh, chances to recover as well because the cpr traders will go and trade as per bullish let's see how the market is going to give us on monday thank you